Hey everybody, LeBron here. Got another quick brain teaser for you. Do I have a better odds of making three free throws in a row or one three-pointer? Here's my friend Sal with the answer. Excellent question, LeBron. But before I answer it, I want to point out an interesting trend related to your question that I just dug up. This is from the New York Times, October 2009, so it's a couple of years old. But it's really interesting. It shows that since since three-pointers were first introduced, they were first introduced in the 1979-1980 season, the three-pointers have become more and more frequent. So what they are showing here is the average attempts per team season by season. And it looks like there's just a steady upward trend here and related to our question. And there's a couple of anomalies here. And the ones that really jump out are these three seasons in the late 90s. And that's because the actual three-pointer line was pulled in because to essentially get higher scoring games. So people attempted more. But then it was put back to where it was originally. This was a shortened season. And I'm not really sure what happened in this, what is this, the 2000. 2001-2002 season here. But it's something to think about. That we, there is just this trend that more and more people are taking three-pointers. Now, with that out of the way, let's think about your actual question. And to answer it, I dug up your stats right over here from NBA.com. And we'll, look, we'll use your career stats. So we want to compare We want to compare three free throws to a three-pointer. So right over here, we have your three-pointer percentage. And this is in your career. And I'll round it to the nearest hundredths. So it looks like it's about 33%. So your three-point percentage is, we'll just call it 33%. And then your free throw percentage, your career free throw percentage. So this is free throw percentage. And this is in your career. We'll round to the nearest hundredths. So we'll round up right over here. That gets us to right at about, right at about 75%. So clearly, looking at these numbers right over here, you're much more likely to make a given free throw than making a given three-pointer. You're more than twice as likely to make a free throw. But that's not what you asked. You asked, what about three free throws in a row? And so what we'll do is we'll do an analysis very similar to the last time when we asked about 10 free throws in a row. So let's think about the first free throw. So free throw. Number one, if we imagined a gazillion, a, bu- a billion, a gazillion's not a real number. If we imagined a billion LeBron Jameses, identical LeBron Jameses, all taking that first free throw, we would expect, on average, that 75% would make that first free throw. So 75% is three fourths. So 75% would make that first free throw, and 25% we would expect, on average. Won't always be the case, but this is what we would expect. 25% would miss that first free throw. Now let's go to the second free throw. Free throw, free throw number two. And we only care about the ones that the LeBron Jameses that keep making their free throws. So let's think about of the 75% that made that first one. Some of the 25% might make that second one, and then maybe even the third one. But let's just think about the ones that made the first one. Of the ones that made the first one, we would expect 75% of them to make the second one. So 75% of this 75%, that's half of the 75%. That's about 75% of the 75% would make that second free throw and the first free throw. So now we have, this is going to be 75% times 75%. Now, and of course, there's other, there's other combinations out here where someone's missed at least one of the free throws. Now let's go to the third free throw. Free throw number three. What percentage of these LeBron Jameses right here will make the third free throw? Well, 75% of these will make the third free throw. So 75% of this number, so let me just draw it visually. That's half. That's about 75% of that number. They will make the third one as well. And so this is 75% of this number, which is 75% of 75%. This is how many LeBron Jameses are going to make all three of the free throws. And once again, we can write this as, we could either multiply it out, or we could just write this as 75% the third power, which is the same thing as 75%, literally means 75 per 100. Same thing as 75 over 100 to the third power, which is the same thing as 0.75 to the third power. And so let's calculate it. Get the calculator out. And so, and actually, let me show you, we get the same result. We can write 0.75 times 0.75. And on this calculator, that little, that little snowflake looking thing, it means multiplication, times 0.75. And then we get. We get 0.42, I'll round to the nearest hundredths. And that's the same thing we would get if we got 0.75 to the third power. Once again, 0.42. So let me write that. 
So this gets us, this gets us to approximately 0 0.42 which is the same thing as 42%. So your probability of making three free throws in a row is 42%, which is still, which is still higher than making one three-pointer. So I'll leave you there, but I want the people who are watching this video to think about what would happen if the numbers were different. Or maybe look up some NBA players or maybe some college players where they're probable and, and figure out and compare the probability of making three free throws to a three pointer and see if there are if you can find any players where their probability of making a three pointer is actually higher than making three free throws in a row.